Uh, our challenge has been the outward migration of young people. So our average population age is above the median average for the province. Our growth rate is below the provincial average. We looked at uh, many challenges within our community of delivering service in a predominantly small urban and rural setting. And of course, trying to compete globally. As uh, Nitness said, the, the world is flat. It's uh, global competitions across the whole sector. So we adopted a, a 1997 strategic plan called 2010 and Beyond. And it was about being a community of excellence with worldwide impact, adopting information, communications, and technology as an, a key component of our economic sectors. And of course, embracing post-secondary education. To that end, we worked with the University of Waterloo to bring in their digital media school, to have their campus for digital media within the city of Stratford. We then started to put a lens on many of our decisions with regards to how we were going to make decisions on future city services or programs we were putting in place looking at technology. To that end, in the late 90s, like many people here in Ontario, we had the opportunity to divest ourselves of our utility assets, uh, hydroelectric assets, or actually acquire some. We acquired the assets of six other communities. We took the dividends off that uh, utility, now worth about 4% of our tax levy, and plowed it into fiber optic network and a 300 access point wireless mesh network that goes over top of the city. We have worked to create what is called the Living Lab, giving companies like Cisco, Toshiba, Motorola, RIM, and others an opportunity to come to our community and test out their new technology while giving us the benefit as a community to try some of it, either to pilot it or then in the end buy it and then turn it into service within our community. We've been very successful in doing so. Much like Rob, we've been part of the Intelligent Community Forum out of New York the last uh, four years. The last three, Stratford has been named one of the top seven communities in the world in the Intelligent Community Forum. And they look at benchmarks such as knowledge economy, marketing and advocacy, social inclusiveness, broadband connectivity. This year, of course, one of the themes is employment as well. And we're looking at now how today, Technology and broadband connectivity, the 70 kilometers of fiber optic network we've laid throughout our community, how it is actually going to lead to employment across all economic sectors in the future. In Stratford, we have auto parts manufacturers using fiber today that are connected right into the quality assurance of Toyota and Honda. The parts coming off that line as they're barcoded, they know the quality spec meets what they're looking for before it even leaves that factory. Cutting waste, transportation cost, and then adding to it, the fact they put it on GPS and track it the whole way for just-in-time delivery. And that's in manufacturing. That's taking an old industry and making it a knowledge economy. The Royal Bank of Canada searched 200 communities across this country in 2008 and 2009 and chose Stratford to build its $400 million, $400,000 million, 400, square foot national data center. Why? Because we embrace connectivity. Broadband connectivity through two portals back so we have redundant network, our hydroelectric assets are redundant, and those are the type of jobs and decisions on infrastructure that communities need to make in the future if they're going to be successful. That and the Living Lab start to build a brand that Stratford is no longer a sleepy, small, rural, small urban community in southwestern Ontario. It's now a national player, both in education and service delivery at the municipal level, but in employment and economic sectors competing around the world.